Hello from MWC 2024. I'm here together is Jean-Philippe Chilet, Senior Vice President, Global Sales, Media, Mobility and Networks. Hello, Jean-Philippe. Nice Hello, very you. nice meeting you. Jean-Philippe, to kick off, could you please give us a brief overview on Intelsat's role in the telecommunication M&O business industry? Very with pleasure. So really what we are doing here is we are developing services around our telco customers. And we really try to serve our telco customers' requirements. This is really a very telco-centric approach. We want to serve connectivity for towers, cell backhaul. We want to serve enterprise services. We want to serve IoT services. This is the, the, the approach and the strategy that we have, and this is the message that we are delivering here. So quite a flexible product offering. Correct. All right, interesting. Over the last few months, we saw the rise of satellite technology, especially in the telecom and mobile network industry. So from your perspective, how is this trend impacting the industry and where do you see it heading? This is really a fascinating time for all of us. And we have been working a lot with our mobile network operators, trying to focus on how do we standardize. We have been very involved in the 3GPP, the 5G, and, and really looking at the services of the future. And this is really what's happening now. And this is what's fascinating, having satellite being complementary of terrestrial. Connecting the unconnected, delivering the next range of services for the enterprise customers, having more services provided to the towers, providing disaster recovery when there is flood, fires, or anything like that. And this is where we are now, a fully integrated service as part of a terrestrial network. Thank you for that. Can you share some insights on highlights of your this year's MWC participation? What are you showcasing? So, a couple of, of examples, and I've, I've already touched on, on some of those. We are providing a real services uh, as a showcase of multi-orbit connectivity for cell tower, multi-orbit connectivity for uh, disaster recovery. We are describing services that we provide for IoT. We have a very small terminal, which is the size of two iPads providing IoT services on some of the most remote location. At the same time as we provide 5G edge computes, where we, if you have higher throughput requirement on some of the sites, how can you provide this and the application level on the site? So it's really a very wide range of services that we are demonstrating here and that we are giving us to our customers are the services that we provide today, but also the roadmap of where do we see the network going into the future? Mm. Sounds like a quite advanced and future proven technology stack what you offer here. That's what we are looking for. Very interesting. Uh, it's always great to hear some real world examples. So you, you just touch base some of the technologies. Can you give us some more customer stories or some yeah. insights to say, look, that's exactly what we achieved. That's, that, that was the goal and that's what we managed. So I'm going to touch on some of the announcements we made before, and I'm also going to touch on some of the announcements that we made during the show. Some of the announcements that we made before, we are deploying with Sure in the Falklands, uh, Leo Geo connectivity, providing a very high throughput connectivity to the island to serve the requirements of the customer. This is something we announced one year ago. This is something that we are deploying as we speak. Met with the CEO of Sure yesterday. Very interesting new type of services that we are providing. Talking about Africa, we have announced new deployment for AMN in Madagascar. AMN is one of our customers that's doing a lot of connectivity in 12 countries in Africa, deploying rural connectivity. Yeah. And that's, that's something that we keep deploying. Some of the announcements that we have made during the show, new, new connectivity into Saudi, uh, where we expand on specifically on oil and gas, new connectivity into Africa with OpenServe. So OpenServe is a subsidiary of 
telecom South Africa, yes. enterprise connectivity. So a lot, you can see the range of services that we are providing from rural connectivity, connectivity in Saudi, connectivity in Africa, connectivity in the Falklands. Quite exciting times, right? Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> I was, uh, I just want to touch base your new tagline. It's quite interesting to see it here. So uh, could you tell us a bit more about the inspiration behind? So this is really where our history is coming to play. 60 years. This is our 60 years anniversary. And I think when you are 60 and when you have, like us, built the satellite industry, you also have a responsibility of thinking about the future. Yeah, that's true. And we wanted to reinvent ourselves with a new tagline. And it's not only about providing a service, it's about the people that we are touching. It's about getting people together and closer together. So, so that's where the success starts. That's where the success starts, correct. Looking ahead, what, what's on the horizon for Intelsat if you look in the future? What exciting ad, uh, advancements or innovation you, let's say, see or what can we expect? Okay, so today we have a, a base of uh, our geo satellite. We have 57 satellites. We are launching our next generation of satellites, again using the latest technology, software defined, and this is really all of the buzzword that the telcos have been using for quite some time, and this is where we are evolving. More flexibility, ability to provide more throughput on different locations, ability to cover networks that are, or sites that are moving, mobility coverage also. We are also working very actively on our next generation of satellites, which are going to be, we are working on an IMEO constellation. Still need to go through a, a, a set of defining exactly the requirement, but this is where you see the future. The future is going to be multi-orbit, future is going to be multi-application using the different range of services we offer. Okay, so is there any upcoming launch that we should particularly be excited about? So our next generation of satellite is going to be uh, launched in the next couple of years, okay. software defined, so a lot of excitement around this. But I think around the next IMEO, I think that there are a lot of really, really interesting applications behind that also. Okay, we're looking forward for that. Looking back at 2023, we talked a lot about the future. Let's talk a bit about the last year. So what would you say is the global impact Intelsat made if you look back at the last year? I think there are, there are multiple. We touch on, on some of these. Connecting people connecting things. You look at what we have deployed, talked about AMN. AMN just reached more than 3,000 sites. 3,000 sites equal 12 million people. That's, that's a big that's milestone. Right. That's, that's right. And then when you look at the services that we have deployed in the Falklands, services that we have deployed in Latin America, we provide services in Germany for Telefonica to reach sites where there is no 4G coverage. These are all of the milestones that we had in 2023. That's very interesting, quite a global approach. So, interesting. So earlier we, we talked about, you even mentioned it in our chat before, uh, when we look at Africa, it was always important for you to connect the unconnected. You as a global satellite operator. So would you say that satellite is, the, is a crucial crucial technology when we talk about semi and rural areas in Africa? Yes, there is, there, is, there is an additional challenge in Africa, which is the ability to reach some of the sites. Yeah. And the logistic within Africa is more complex than it is in, in other parts of the world. And satellite is definitely com complementary. You could use satellite to reach a site or to start a site well before you have any fiber connectivity or microwave connectivity. So it's crucial in the development of Africa. There is no doubt about that. So it could make the connection development faster in the areas before. I mean, you're not going to build a fiber connectivity to the most deepest rural areas. It will be difficult geographically right. wise as well. But I think we also should never forget about the impact behind 
the connectivity, you provide education. Yeah, I mean... It's... Behind connectivity, you provide health services. Yeah. Behind connectivity, you provide financial inclusion. Yeah. And behind that, then you drive the economy. Yeah, that, I fully agree. Digital transformation is the number one issue we have to solve in Africa. Last but not least, congratulations for your 60th anniversary. Is there anything special planned for this year to reflect this milestone? So we have a lot of, pla lot of plans, but I'm going to keep you watching for the news. Okay, okay, okay. So we are, we are planning a lot of events. This is, this is great for us. If you, if you remember the first satellites, the first video distribution and where we are today, we, are, we keep innovating. Yeah. We are celebrating, at the same time we are setting our sight on the next 60 years. That's a good balance. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. your time and the conversation. Thank you very much. There was Tech Africa News from MWC 2024. You can find more on techafricanews.com.